Good morning. Thank you for joining us today. Our presider is our former pastor, Monsignor Patrick Bishop. Please rise as we begin this celebration. Thank you for the chorus, Lord. Thank you for the price you paid, bearing all my sin and shame. In love you came and gave amazing grace. Thank you for this love, Lord. Thank you for the nail-pierced hands. Wash me in your cleansing flow. Now all I know, your forgiveness and embrace. Worthy is the Lamb, seated on the throne. Crown you now with many crowns, you reign victorious. I am In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today is the feast of the most sacred heart of Jesus, a heart that loves us unconditionally, so that knowing that love, we might also love one another unconditionally. In peace, let us put ourselves in God's presence. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. And let us pray. Loving God, your sacred heart beats for each one of us as though we were your only child. Help us to revere each person in our life knowing that they are that special to you also. So that brothers and sisters might recognize one another and bring each other home. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. From the book of Deuteronomy, Moses said to the people, you are a people sacred to the Lord, your God. He has chosen you from all the nations on the face of the earth to be people particularly his own. It was not because you are the largest of all nations that the Lord set his heart on you and chose you, for you are really the smallest of all nations. It was because the Lord loved you and because of his fidelity to the oath he had sworn to your fathers that he brought you out with a strong hand from the place of slavery and ransomed you from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Understand then that the Lord your God is God indeed, the faithful God who keeps his merciful covenant down to the thousandth generation toward those who love him and keep his commandments.
but who repays with destruction a person who hates him. He does not dally with such a one, but makes them personally pay for it. You shall therefore carefully observe the commandments and the statutes and the decrees that I enjoin on you today. The word of the Lord. The Lord is kind and merciful. 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 Bless the Lord. O oh, my soul and all my being, bless God's name. Bless the Lord and forget not God's benefits. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. God pardons all your iniquities and comforts your sorrows, redeems your life from destruction and crowns you with kindness. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind Merciful, merciful and gracious is our God, slow to anger, abounding in kindness. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. From the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only son into the world so that we might have life through him. In this is love, not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as expiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also must love one another. No one has ever seen God, yet if we love one another, God remains in us and his love is brought to perfection in us. This is how we know that we remain in him and he in us, that he has given us of his spirit. Moreover, we have seen and testify that the Father sent his Son as Savior of the world. Whoever acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God remains in him and he in God. We have come to know and to believe in the love God has for us. God is love. And whoever remains in love remains in God and God in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, to go forth to love and serve Alleluia building the kingdom of justice and peace Alleluia people of God rejoice and sing Alleluia oh, The 
Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the little ones. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy, my burden is light. The Gospel of the Lord. As I was walking into the parish this morning, I ran into one of our many wonderful parishioners who said, thank God for this place. She went on to say she had been in many, many different parishes, some of them great parishes, but none of them quite like this. And you know why? I think this is the most loving gaggle of people I have ever come across. Even when, when I was pastor here, we would have some knockdown, down drag-out battles. But they were battles of wits and not of hearts. Look at the love that's been poured out to Father Fernando. Coming in in a very difficult situation, following a perfect pastor. (laughs) Taking his lumps, but very quickly falling in love with this people. Look at Father Brian. I understand that parishioners lined the streets for his parade in great numbers. And he deserved it. He came into this parish, a brand new priest, wondering what priesthood was about and was so fortunate to come to this parish to see so dramatically what church is all about. When I was growing up, and there are those here who seem to be equally aged, challenged as I am, I don't think I ever entered a Catholic home where I did not see a portrait of the Sacred Heart. I'm not sure that that's true anymore. I don't have a portrait of the Sacred Heart at home, but what I do have is a picture of a smiling Jesus that has the most accepting joy-filled, loving, spontaneous smile on his face. The heart is one symbol of how we love. I think the smile 
is probably even a greater symbol of how we love. The test of love is the same test that we use for sanity. For sanity, we say if you can keep your mind when everyone around you is losing theirs, you're saying, if you can hold on to your love when so many around you are losing that ability, then you are a loving person. If you can look on each person you know and the strangers you don't and see them through the eyes of God, and see the beauty in each unique reflection of his personality in that person, then your love is strong and the darkest of times will not overcome it. A beautiful symbol, the sacred heart of Jesus. A beautiful symbol, the smiling Christ, reflecting how deeply our creator, our loving parent, loves us. Much to celebrate at this feast of thanksgiving on the occasion of honoring the sacred heart of Jesus. Let us pray. For God's holy church throughout the world, especially where it suffers persecution, and where it is suffering from this virus. Let us pray to the Lord. For our Holy Father, that he might be strong and wise, leading us, all of us, in badly needed reform. For our new Archbishop, that he might be guided by the loving heart of Jesus. For our pastor, and all who serve us in any pastoral capacity, let us pray to the Lord. For our country in troubling times, that we might find something that will bring us back together again and help us to appreciate the beauty of each individual person. Let us pray to the Lord. For our country in times of elections, that the Spirit might guide us to choose wisely those who will lead us, and that God might raise up good, competent, wise, selfless people to seek public office. Let us pray to the Lord. For parishioners who are in special need today, let us pray to the Lord. For your own intentions. For those who protect us from war, violence, terrorism, anarchy, for their safety and for God's blessings on them, for their generous love, let us pray to the Lord. For the intention of this Mass, for all who have asked our prayers, and for our brothers and sisters everywhere, let us pray to the Lord.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. Look, O oh Lord, we pray on the surpassing charity in the heart of your beloved Son, that what we offer may be a gift acceptable to you and an explanation or expiation of our offenses through Christ our Lord. I forgot my glasses this morning. I think they should have a missile in Braille. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised up as on the cross, he gave himself up for us in his wonderful love and poured out blood and water from a pierced side the wellspring of the church's sacraments, so that one over to the open heart of the Savior, all might draw water fully from the spring of salvation. And so with the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna, Hosanna in You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. Lord, my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the cup and once more, giving you thanks, gave it to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you for all people, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us And therefore, as we celebrate this memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the cup of eternal salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring to her the fullness of peace. Together with Francis, our Pope, 
Gregory, Joel, and Ned, our bishops, with the clergy and the entire people your son has gained for you. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed in divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. He had nothing more left to give us with that last breath on the cross. And his witness was not only his sacred heart, but the love that our creator has for each one of us. His son, broken, passed out to the hungry like bread so that they might feast on food for the heart. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. And blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
If you've been watching this Mass online, please join with me in this prayer when one cannot receive communion. My Jesus, on the day of my baptism, you poured your love into my heart through the Holy Spirit, who unites, unites me eternally to you. Through that same Spirit, I pledge my love and adore you, present in your most holy body and blood. Though I cannot consume you in this sacred banquet, let me be consumed by your complete desire for me so that my longing for you may be filled by your love alone and your mercy overflow through me into this world so in need. Amen. ask of you is forever to remember me as loving you. All I ask of you is forever to remember me as loving you. Deep the joy of being together one cart and for me that's just where it is all I ask of you is forever to remember me as loving you as we make our way through all the joys and pain can we sense our younger, truer selves? All I ask of you is forever to remember me as loving you. Someone will be calling you for a while can you hear their cry from deep within all I ask of you is forever to remember me as loving you laughter joy and presence the only gifts you are have you time i'd like to be with you all i ask of you is forever to remember me as loving you Persons come into the fiber of our lives and then the shadows fade and disappear. All I ask of you is forever to remember as loving you all i ask of you is forever to remember me as loving you forever as love
love, O Lord. Make us fervent with the fire of holy love, so that drawn always to your Son, we may learn to see him in our neighbor. Through Christ, our Lord. You were right, they were wrong. Yeah. She stood up, like you all should be doing. <laughs> Fernando, get back here and take your place at this table to send the second team home and to have the first team looking over their parish. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord and one another and share with, no, don't do that. Turn and wave at one another with a big smile. Terry, could I see you?